Hi, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. How are you? This is a very sad week for the Yarny community. Uh, <clears throat> Sylvia, or Sylvie from Tabitha's Treasures has passed away. Uh, God, I just watched one of her videos. She seemed upbeat. She was weak, but she seemed upbeat. And, you know, geez. <clears throat> Unbelievable. So, um, yeah. So it's a sad, sad week for the Yarny community. Geez, I was just kind of starting to get over, not get over, but, um, feel better about Linda, just a crochet sister having a heart attack. And then this happened. It was like, oh, uh, <clears throat> you know, mortality is kind of hitting me in the face again. And I'm just freaking out a little bit. You just never know. Right. Anyway, <clears throat> so keep her family in your heart, in your thoughts, please. Um, yeah, <clears throat> so anyways, um, just wanted to get on here. I was feeling kind of down and, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys, you know, tell you just what I've been working on and stuff, and, which hasn't been very much. <laughs> um, I did a new hat pattern. Um, oops, I did three styles of the same hat, but it's that one. This is in a thicker weight. And then this is in a different yarn. I really like this one. The co I like the colors. Really? What are you doing? She's in a playful mood, and I'm just so not. <laughs> so, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, so I did the new hat pattern. Let me know if you'd like a tutorial on it. Um, yeah, I, I like the way it turned out. So, anyway. Um, <laughs> I saw a post on Facebook of a sweater that I was just like, Ooh, I want to make that. So I bought the pattern. Oh, if I had a known, <laughs> um, it's, it's all, um, back, uh, back loop and puff stitches. So, yeah, but I mean, it's taking, it's going to take me forever to do this, I'm sure. Because my hands, like doing the back loop and the puff stitches, it, my hands are really starting to hurt. Uh, but it's turning out not so bad. <clears throat> so this is going to be the back panel. But I like the texture, if you can see. I don't know if you can see the back loop texture. Oh, it might help if I... Is this... I don't know. Uh, can you see it that way more? No. <clears throat> but anyways, there, it's the back loop there. And it gives, like, ridges. But uh, I think it's going to be really nice once it's finished. It's just going to take me a while to do it. Um, I'm <clears throat> finally using... I'm getting to use my new worsted eight from Hershner's. My the heathered. Oh, it's so nice, guys. It is so nice. Um, but I decided to use the green, the sa sage, is it? Fossil. And uh, and then I'm using the. Um, Michael's Craft Smart Value. 
in what color is this cityscape so but it, it's got like little tiny bits of like a greeny gray in it and I thought that it would go really well with this what do you guys think I think it it's going pretty good I'm hoping so that one's kind of been a struggle <clears throat> um, and it's all done in like a half double crochet so I'm using a bigger hook size than she uh, asked for not by much by like a half a size but yeah it's I mean I have to do a back panel two front panels and the arms and I hate doing sweaters with panels all right, it just, ugh, I just hate doing it. I like doing all one piece or, you know, something like that, but, <clears throat> or doing bigger, thicker yarn, but you can't, with the puff stitches, you can't use a really thick yarn because <laughs> it just won't work. Uh, so yeah, I settled for this and I'm hoping that I have enough yarn. I've got three skeins of, um, the head three, four. Now I've got four skeins of the heathered and I'm doing the extra large to want two X or whatever sizing. So I'm <laughs> hoping that it's going to work. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, also I, because I'm feeling really low and sad and, oh yeah, <clears throat> I was thinking maybe I should do a giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway in a little while. So, yeah. So let's do that. Make you guys feel a little bit better. Okay. So what I'm going to give away is three skeins of the... Oops. Hopefully you can see this. The Respun yarn from Lion Brand. Can you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Um, this color is, good grief, what color is this? Alpine. I'll show you. This is one of the skeins that I started using. This is the Alpine color. It's actually darker than that. It's like that. So pretty. Did I ever show you that shirt that I made? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. I can't remember. <clears throat> but anyways, um, so I'm giving away three skeins oops, of that. Okay. Okay. Oh. So leave a comment down below. Whatever comment. Doesn't matter. And uh, we'll see in the next video who is going to be the winner. Let's see, what is today? Today is Monday. Let's do it on Friday. Yeah, let's do it on Friday. Okay, so you got all week to get your comment in for the skeins of Alpine Respun. Yay! Okay. Okay. So yes. Oh, and guess what else I got? <laughs> I bought a neck light. Yes, I did. Ugh, why did it take me so long not to do this? Like I was struggling. I was using black yarn and <clears throat> I was struggling so much. And I finally said to San Sandy at left is right crochet. I knew she had one. And I said, do they really work? You know, like I've been humming and hawing about it for a while. And she said, absolutely, they work. Okay. I trust her opinion. So I bought one. And of course, I had to get yellow and black for yarn of ease, right? <laughs> so, <clears throat> so I bought one and I'm actually really surprised. Uh, it does work. This one has, it has a lower... And then a, a high, um, uh, you know, what do you call it? Brightness. 
There we go. I'll get it out. Maybe I need another coffee or something. I was debating on to whether to work or not. <clears throat> I haven't worked in a few days. I've just been, yeah, not, just not, uh, not myself. I'm sure you guys can probably tell that. So, <clears throat> um, so yeah, so let me know if you guys want a tutorial on this. If you do, I will get it out on, um, Sunday and, uh, yeah. And I'll, I'll tell you what the progress is of my sweater. I'm going to keep going and keep working on it. I keep putting some hand cream or not hand cream. Um, it's, uh, it's called dream cream and it's, it's actually meant for gardeners to, for cracking hands and stuff, but it's got eucalyptus and stuff in it. So it actually helps with pain. So I've been dousing myself in that and uh, trying to keep my finger, keep, you know, doing my stretches and, you know, trying to keep, but my hands just, oh, they just hurt. So I'm finding I'm, my, my aches and pains are coming up a lot with the change of the season. It was weird. The other day, George was outside and he comes in and he goes, oh. It's, there's a nip in the air already. I'm like, really? So I go outside and sure enough, you can actually, you know how you can go outside and you can smell snow? Mm. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's like barely even October. Like what the heck? So I'm really hoping that we're not going to have a brutal winter <clears throat> um, this year. Like I, I want it to stay mild. Right. A brutal winter for us is like three days of snow and then it disappears, <laughs> you know, but uh, it's still, for us, it's brutal. <laughs> and the Albertans and, and Saskatchewans and, and all of them out there in uh, eastern Canada are probably going to laugh at me. They're going to, Lisa from Lisa's Crochet is going to go, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, so, but uh yeah. Anyway. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. And uh, yeah, don't forget to leave your comment down below. And don't forget to hit the like or don't like this video because this video is crap. It's it, you. I just don't have the energy right now. So maybe I shouldn't have done this video, but <clears throat> I did. And we're going to do a giveaway. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye.